back to We Are The Dorians. This is episode three of Marriage Moments, where we're gonna be talking about intimacy. So intimacy to me means closeness. Uh, within a relationship, it means knowing your spouse or knowing your significant other. Emotional intimacy is what we're talking about, not that kind of intimacy. Emotional intimacy is a deep sense of closeness and connection that really allows like you and your spouse to have an understanding of your innermost feelings, your deep thoughts, mm -hmm. um, and it really helps like build trust, helps with understanding each other better, and also it can enhance communication, which we talked about in the last video, so be sure to go watch that after you're done with this video. Right. Emotional intimacy is very important in any relationship, any sort of intimacy, but we feel like emotional intimacy is one that's kind of overlooked because everybody wants to go and jump straight into the sexual. Do you feel like there was a time where you were emotionally connected with me? Or you were really close with me? Um, I would say when we moved down here for sure because, I mean, that was one of the biggest things that we did in our relationship. We moved from like halfway across the country by ourselves. So I feel like in that moment, we really like just hung on to each other. It was just us. We had no choice but to talk and just be together, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, we already were together, but it's just different when it's just us. Like we have nobody else that we can like call, hit up, go see. Mm -hmm. Um... And so yeah, I thought we were really connected because I we really just like communicated, we understood each other. We were just we had just graduated, we were just trying to move into like our next phase of our life as far as like goals. So we were really talking about that a lot. And even just like emotion emotion wise, we were having those like hard conversations and just having those real conversations about our relationship and where we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. You know, that it's just us to, alone together here in our new city. Right. I, I can tell you a time where I felt like we were emotionally disconnected. I, I'll say probably 2022 when I first got my job. Around that time, I was wrapped in work. Like I had just got the job, so I was really trying to go crazy in the job, really trying to, you know, show my work ethic. So I was really in here late night, early morning. At the time, it was just teary. It wasn't. A, it wasn't another daughter. It was just one daughter. At the time, I was putting in so many hours into work that, well, I kind of stepped away from like, you know, the chores I had to do at, at the house and the love I had to give to the family. It's, it's really important to stay emotionally connected with your family because um, you know exactly what they need once you are com connected with them. That brings me to one thing. If you haven't done this, and I think this is very crucial for us, and I think this is very vital for us as well, doing the five love language test is an extremely important thing to do we did the test and around that time most percentage i had was quality time words of affirmation was definitely next it's important to know your love language so that you can give that to your other you know your significant other yeah so oftentimes with the love language situation first of all a lot of people don't even know about it right and then we may think that our love language is one thing and it's another mm -hmm. i don't i don't remember my, what my score was whenever i took it but I do know it was like opposite, I believe. Yeah. Um, I just think we should take it over again. So we'll take it over again and then we'll um, put our results for when we take it again in the com comments. And then you guys let us know what your love languages are. Mm -hmm. um, you and your um, you and your, yeah, you and your significant other. Yeah, we can talk about it. But yeah, I definitely think love languages is great. It's also a book. You haven't heard of it. I mm -hmm. um, can't remember the guy's name, but he has like a lot of books. Um, he, doesn't have a, he even has it for like kids too. But yeah, I think it's a great book. I think everyone should read it. We did it with some other couples or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great conversation starter too. I allow you to reevaluate yourself. And like I said, just really get to know your spouse in a better way. Mm -hmm. While at the same time kind of getting to know yourself better as well. Because now that I know, okay, if quality time is his thing, which I didn't think it was at the time. I was like, hey. And you were also on the game a lot too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yep. So I didn't know that. But like, okay, well, he do want to spend time with me. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't feel that way, but I was able to now know that and kind of apply it and be more um, intentional about like spending that quality time mm -hmm. and not just thinking that he wants to just kind of be on his own. Another way that you can create that emotional intimacy is validating each other's feelings. Mm -hmm. like whenever you're having conversations or someone's saying something, no matter if you feel like they're being dramatic or they're being too nonchalant, like validate their feelings, let them know, hey, I hear you, I understand, X, Y, Z. Yeah, that was one thing. Like, it was validating each other's feelings. Like even when you're like in altercation, this is something my mom told me, um, and I'm sure it's all over the internet though. But she was saying like, and I think you learned this in um, premarital, like when you're talking, you, you say I feel like blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. 
instead of saying like you like you know trying to tell the other yeah. person what they feel what they think just you talk you say what you feel right and then, and then you can after that you can kind of validate i understand that you feel like xyz this is how i feel about the situation mm -hmm. so instead of saying i don't think that's right you just say i understand or i hear you saying that xyz however this is how i feel or this is what i meant because he's good for telling me that's the wrong word that's the wrong word and that's just so annoying and it's just like no what i'm saying it makes sense to me so okay, validate okay. that okay okay <laughs> you feel some type of way but no nah, really though as men we should think about the emotions that women have and really try to validate that as well because as men we we were raised to set our you know feelings to the side but you really have to think about it from both both perspectives you are a man man you feel how you feel about this particular situation or conversation but you have to think from your wives or your significant others perspective and think okay if i was in her shoes then this is how i would feel but the only way to figure that out is the emotional intimacy think from both perspectives yeah also too i would say too that like vice versa because like we have to as women most women are emotional right or they have a lot more emotions so we have to kind of think from their perspective like for them they're thinking differently so we have to also think from both perspectives as well if you're a woman who have, doesn't have a lot of emotion right think about your spouse who does have a lot of emotion or if you're a husband with a lot of emotion and your spouse she doesn't have a lot of emotion you have so, to think so from that yeah. exactly like you said both perspectives are very important all right so i got a question for you guys and you need to come in like right now I want to know what are you doing regularly to increase your emotional intimacy so what are you doing are you scheduling date nights are you taking walks in the park are you going to the pool with the missus are you going to grab your favorite snacks from the nearest corner store or whatever the case may be what are you doing how are you linking up with your significant other making them feel how they're supposed to feel making them feel like they're the best person in the world like they're lifting on clouds what are you doing comment right now what do we do what do we do? Yeah. I feel like we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have a lot of conversations. We just really express ourselves to each other. We do have like regular check-in. We created like a, a open space for us to kind of say anything. Mm -hmm. Say anything to each other and kind of what we want to do, how we're feeling. We just really talk a lot. Like we talk a lot. Like we sit down and we just talk. Like we may put on a movie um, and we just talk. Or we'll mm -hmm. be sitting and working and just talking. Like we just get to know each other. We're just there for each other all the time. We just know we can depend and lean on each other for anything. Yeah. And that helps like build up, you know, that emotional intimacy for us can't answer the question that he just asked you here's a challenge for you and if you answer the question you have a little regular routine or you are consistently pouring into each other emotionally here's a challenge for you as well so for the next week you need to spend 10 minutes with each other sharing something you appreciate about the other person right so 10 minutes so that means one person get five wow. And then the other person get five. So, exactly. so you just five minutes, you just talking good. You just yeah, and cut each other off at the five minute mark. Don't let you know, cause we got some people that talk a lot. Just five and five, split it up evenly, and you should have five minutes to you know. Of good stuff to say about exactly. your, your person because that's your person. Mm -hmm. And if you don't work on it, make something up. Yeah, work right. On it. What do you want them to be better at? Right, right. You know what I mean? Make it up. We have to do it. So so do you. Exactly. So we will do it. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, so after you do this for like the next week, come back and come in again how that kind of impacted you guys, kind of what you felt after you did that um, mm -hmm. for that, that week. So seven days, you have to do it for seven days, right? So set a time on your phone. If you have kids, kids go to bed at 8.30, 9 o'clock, you need to be doing it. And just mm -hmm. sit there for 10 minutes and just look at each other and just say good things. I'm doing the assignment, not doing it. <laughs> you're, you're nasty. I see you. <laughs> Nasty. Do the, do the assignment. Don't get off track. As our challenge for you, let us know how it goes. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really enjoy making it for you all. Mm -hmm. Please make sure you guys comment below how you're trying to improve your emotional intimacy, what you're going to be doing. Stay tuned for the next one. It'll be uh, on, coming out on the Thursday. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you can get all the information. We really want you guys to tune into the next one and continue to open up this conversation um, in marriage so that we can build up more marriages, keep marriages strong. Divorce is not- Even in the picture or even talked about. Or even exactly, because we are, we're in it for the long run, mm -hmm. right? We are locked in for life. Locked it's in. a covenant connection. Mm -hmm.
Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all follow our social. WeAreTheJordans.com. Official We Are The Jordans on YouTube. Official We Are The Jordans on TikTok. WAT Jordans on Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more videos. Tune in. We'll catch you later. This is episode three where we're going to be talking about intimacy. So intimate. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? What do we do? Go ahead. Are you standing on business? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Standing on business, how? <laughs>